Guilty. That is what the jury determined in the case of Jose Landetta. Landetta showed little emotion as he sat next to his attorneys, listening to the verdict. Prosecutors had charged the 34-year-old with murder following the gruesome discovery back on September 8, 2022. They argued Landetta had traveled to his ex-girlfriend Karina Castro's San Carlos home in a rage, angry with her about social media posts. Witnesses testified seeing Landetta confront Castro in front of her home. They say he swung a long samurai sword, striking her arm and cutting her hair. Then as she fell to the ground, they say he brutally kept swinging the sword, severing her head. Landetta's attorneys argued that he... Guilty. That is what the jury determined in the case of Jose Landetta. Landetta showed little emotion as he sat next to his attorneys, listening to the verdict. Prosecutors had charged the 34-year-old with murder following the gruesome discovery back on September 8, 2022. They argued Landetta had traveled to his ex-girlfriend Karina Castro's San Carlos home in a rage, angry with her about social media posts. Witnesses testified seeing Landetta confront Castro in front of her home. They say he swung a long samurai sword, striking her arm and cutting her hair. Then as she fell to the ground, they say he brutally kept swinging the sword, severing her head. Landetta's attorneys argued that he acted in self-defense, saying that he had received death threats from Castro. They also argued Landetta was a paranoid schizophrenic who was not taking his medication. They told the jury his intent the day of the crime was to de-escalate the situation, not harm Castro. For Castro's family, the three week long trial was incredibly painful. It's hard, very stressful. I'm just glad it's over. Hard three weeks. <laughs> and, and to go through all of them. It's really hard. We finally get some justice, but it's not the same. We still don't have Karina. We don't have anything like this. You know, they still get to go visit their son and talk to their son, but we don't, we're not able to do that. We're happy that it's first degree murder because that's what he deserves. And he <laughs> was very malicious and not kind. It, he really, 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 did some horrific things that the two had a young daughter together who was 18 months old at the time of the crime. Castro also leaves behind another daughter. Sentencing will take place at a later date. In San Mateo County, Teresa Estacio, Cron 4 News.